Look, man, we're going to have a little 3 a.m. quick talk, you know, life update, what I've been up to. There's not too many of you guys on here who follow me. Probably um, out of my 300 some subscribers on this channel specifically. Um, I, let's be real. You know what I mean? As you can see, the the channel right now, currently, if you're currently watching these videos, doesn't have too much motion right now compared to my other channels. Which, to me, is a problem because this is one of the first channels I started. So, I definitely don't want to go through that phase where I already got content up and I'm just going to give up on the page. It happens. Don't get me wrong. I've, you know, over the past three years, I've made and created probably nine, ten YouTube channels, which currently I run about six right now. Currently, this is one of them, you know, and I just when you start off with YouTube content creation in general, you get in this 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 path where you don't know what direction you want to go in. You know, it, it was finance and it was fitness and it was this and it's business. See, I'm a I'm a jack of all trades. I literally can talk about anything. Sports. I'll be great in sports, entertainment, music, stocks, crypto, forex, cars, selling, uh, selling cars, selling solar, anything you could think of. How to do this? How to grow on Instagram? How to grow on TikTok? Social media? How to build an SMMA? Um, you know, I can go on and on and on how to make money online, the top side hustles, motivation, uh, I can go on and on. So my problem is, is knowing a little bit of everything, actually knowing a lot of everything and wanting to dip my hands in everything, every industry out there, tobacco, vapes, this, I want my hand everywhere. And uh, I would say that's one of my biggest, biggest flaws is wanting to be involved in everything or, or starting something because I know how to do it and then doing starting something else because I know how to do it and I think I'll be great in it. And then not finishing that and then not finishing that and then just kind of working at everything at a one pace, just trying to put content. Look, I literally, I'll tell you right now, Instagram alone, probably 15 different accounts. TikTok, probably same. 12, 15 accounts. YouTube, about six active accounts. Snapchat, about two and then two, three spotlight accounts, niched accounts. Uh, so th that just alone, you know, think about it. Who's going to have the time, plus running a full-time car rental agency, who's going to have the time to boom, 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 unless you have a team behind it. Unfortunately, you know, I'm not yet. I'm well, yeah, I can't even say that. I'm not even to the point where I have a team behind it. So that would be my biggest downfall or biggest flaw right now. The thing is downfall. You know, I, I learn every day. I grow every day. I push towards my goals, aspirations, uh, everything I want to accomplish. Uh, I'm pushing towards it every day. Um, it's just a flaw. I, I could always, I always say this, man. What if I just only did that one thing? Where would I be at? You never know. You literally never know. Chicken strips just came in. Uh, you know, late night. You know, I've been on the chicken sh chicken strip wave, and uh, like I said, 440 calories for the amount of protein you get. I'll take it with the low carbs. I'll take it. So back to that. I, I would say that's my biggest flaw. Is Knowing I could be the best car salesman, knowing I could be the best solar salesman, knowing I could be a great YouTuber in many niches, knowing I have a personality to be vlogging. People tell me all the time, knowing that I have the people around me to succeed when it comes to vlogging and content creation and being creative, knowing, you know, I, I have the capability of blowing up on TikTok. Well, I've blown up multiple TikTok accounts, but uh, I, I, you know, Knowing that and then not putting my all into everything, that's my biggest flaw. And I can admit that. And it's a good flaw to have and it's a bad flaw to have. You know, I tell people this all the time and nobody believes me. Some people get it nowadays, but back then when I used to say it, nobody used to understand. And that is, 
I've graduated from YouTube University multiple times. I'm on my master's degree. Actually, I've got my master's, bachelor's, everything from YouTube. And people are like, what are you talking about? I'm like, yeah, bro, I literally, I went to YouTube University. I've been studying there for about six years. And I've learned more in life. I mean, more about life and finance than I have ever in any years of school I went to. And that's my problem. I learned so much shit that I look at people different. I, 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 I carry myself differently. I look at business differently. I look at sports industry differently. I look at anything that has to do with entertainment money. I look at it completely different. And sometimes it's hard being in rooms with people who don't know that stuff or don't know what's behind NBA, don't know what's behind LeBron, don't know what's behind the boxing world, don't know who's behind the Jake Pauls and the, that and the Logan Pauls and stuff like that. And I don't want to be the person to blow or I don't want to be the person to kind of you know, shut down the moment or the mood in the room or when that conversation happens, you know, it could be at the gym in the sauna. I don't want to be that person to shut it off. Like, oh, well, if you think about it like this as a business owner and you're on the other side of it, how are you going to act? Blah, blah, blah. You know, I like I, it's even hard for me to go straight direct and tell you guys and be straightforward with it. So that's one of my problems. I've learned so much that it's hard to have conversations with just regular people and, 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 and not be completely yourself. And that's just the truth. And you know what's funny is when you run into someone who does understand that, you guys click quicker than what you can fucking think. It, it will be signs and signals and that's when I started my 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 brand that I never pursued. Well, I did pursue it a little bit, and I still, you know, am pursuing it. Uh, it, it. It's just something I live by. It's in my Instagram bio. If you guys don't, by the way, don't follow me on Instagram. Go ahead and check the link down below. I'll leave my Instagram CEO no cap. Also, I'm going to be putting a lot more content on Snapchat. So I'll leave my Snapchat uh, link down below as well. Go ahead and follow me on there for daily, daily content and just, you know, uh, what I do during the day, stuff like that, more of me, so, but yeah, that, that's one of my biggest flaws, that's what I got for you guys, uh, and I work on it, I'm like, okay, like right now, I'm gonna go 30 days straight here, strong, but on the back end, you guys don't even know, I'm working on so much other stuff, and that's why I'm getting drift, I, you, you, so my point is, you can get drifted away from the goal when you set another goal, and then another goal, so I would say one, my one piece of advice for you guys, anybody who wants to do anything or has any goals or you want to do this or whatever the case is, pursue something, go after one thing first, make that shit shake, and then develop the next thing. I'm developing everything at, a, at once. Not everything, but a majority of the stuff when it comes to social media. Um, I already built... A business, six-figure business in the car rental agency that does very well for me. You know, whatever the case is, my point is. Who the fuck is this? So whatever the case is, like I said, my point is build something, go after that one thing, put your all into it, and then build something else after it. Whatever the case is, your mind's gonna change all the time. That's why I tell people with cars, are you sure you want to finance it? In my case, I'm not going to want to keep the same car for two, three years. Doesn't matter if I have a Urus, a Lamborghini, one of my C8s, Corvettes, anything like that. I'm not going to want to keep it for longer than two, three years. Trust me. I'm going to see something else that's hot that I want and I'm going to get it. So that's what I got for you guys. That's my piece of advice. March. What are we on? March 7th. This is what I got for you guys. Day seven, March Madness, 30 for 30. And you guys can see right now, going strong, and I put my mind on it. You know why I'm, I'm getting this content? Because I said, I'm going to put my mind on it, and I'm focusing on this thing. So, that's what I'm doing. 
and we'll see where it takes me we'll see if i continue to to keep posting on here which i'm sure i will i haven't given up on this channel I, a lot of my main content has been on this channel it's one of my first channels so uh it, i owe it to myself to grow this channel and i will i will so that's what i got for you guys man appreciate you guys for rocking with me and if you guys are watching my content haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button for the boy drop a like hit uh actually no if you guys have not subscribed to the channel man go ahead and hit that subscribe button drop a comment down below and hit that like button i will be dropping more content i'm gonna do this 30 for 30 and hopefully it leads us down the right way down the right path to grow this channel which i think it will i'm positive and i'm i am very um you know i i believe very strong in this channel and the content i could put out and, and right now like i said I'm, I'm still trying to find myself with this channel other channels okay that's my niche that's what i do yes that channel's for that this channel i'm still trying to find it because i could turn this shit into a fitness i could turn it into a lifestyle vlog i could turn it into some boss shit if i wanted to so it's really like that's where i'm at and that goes back to the whole conversation we just had and that's how it is man i'll catch you on the next one i hope you guys didn't go i hope you guys didn't let this one go over your head and if you guys got any questions for me or you guys want to chop chop it up hit me on the social media man i'll catch you on the next one boom